the object is. So, now what we need to do is we need to find out whether or not this object corner is still on the screen or not. <coughs> so we're going to create a couple more variables. All vector 3 is. This one is viewport coordinates. And we're just basically finding where the object is on the screen, where the corner of the object is on the screen by putting it in the world to viewport point. Pretty simple. And then we're going to get the, a new position variable. Position for now, and then we will go partner size because this is basically just just in case your parallax partner is longer or something than the current object, we will just make sure by basically doing the same thing we did here for the partner. So relax partner dot game object dot get component mesh filter mesh bound size and then we'll scale it to parallax partner ah. dot transform dot local scale alright <coughs> now we have both object size ah. And now, what we're going to do is we're going to move the position of the object if it is off the screen, and we're only going to move it if, yeah, yeah, basically, just, we're just going to move it if it's off the screen. First, we're going to check if the multiplier is equal to zero, because if it is, there's no point in even doing anything inside of this because it's not even moving in that direction. Ah. All right. So if multiplier dot x is greater than zero and viewport coordinates is greater than one. Oh, viewport coordinates dot x is greater than one. So, if the movement direction is one, and the corner is on, is past the right side of the screen. We're gonna go new position dot x equal to parallax partner transform dot position dot x take away partner size dot x plus object size dot x divided by two <laughs> alright so we find out where the parallax partner is located. We subtract the two object sizes from it. And we have to divide by two, because if we don't, say the object is here and you are here, if you're going to move up to this line, if you don't divide by two, you're going to skip over 
and you're going to go up to, say, this line. So there's going to be a gap in between the two parallax planes. And this makes sure there isn't one. So this if is checking if the multiplier is greater than 1, and this one is if it's not. And we're also checking if it's past the left side of the screen now. New position dot x equal to parallax transform x plus partner size dot objects is dot x and then divide by two again. And we're adding this time because if it's going this way, um, we're going to have to add x to bring it over to this side. And what we're going to do is just copy this because checking this for the z is the exact same way, except we're just changing, you know, y and z. So multiplier, we're going to have to change it to y because it's a vector 2. And the same with viewport and new position dot z and yeah should be good to go oh y so same thing happening here as what was happening here. And then we'll set the position of this object to the new position. Uh, it should be good to go. Oh, what's going on? Oh, our new behavior script is screwing things up for us. Delete. Oh, make sure. Could have made a typo somewhere. And I did. Uh, okay. The multiplier is supposed to be y. So you might not have done this, but uh, I did. Oh, and I believe I said this in my last video. Make sure you put the f at the end of the two, otherwise you'll get these stupid errors. And and what now? Oh. And it should be good now. Alright. Alright, so we'll just drag this onto the prefab. And we'll set this to 5. And parallax partner. Well, what we're going to want to do for the parallax partner is just drag the other plane onto it. Now, I have a, uh, a texture for it, so I'll just be applying that. So it's a nice little starry sky there. And nothing yet, because we still need one more script. <coughs> All right, now we need the main camera script, which will be controlling the actual, uh, it'll be basically controlling, making sure that these parallax planes line up with the camera, all that stuff. Um, it's a really small script, really easy. You just attach it to the camera. And we'll call it Parallax Controller. All right. Parallax Controller. Uh, 
and we'll create a public array so that we can just put the parallax objects right in there. And it's a transform array so that we can access the position right off the bat and not have to worry about going through a bunch of stuff. And we're going to create a private variable called velocity object, which is going to hold our constant velocity component in the camera. Just so that if we set the speed of these parallax planes to, say, 5, it's going to actually move at the speed of 5 instead of, say, 10, depending on what we set the camera to. See, like, we had the camera moving and the planes moving at the same speed, which was why the planes looked as if they were not moving here. Because everything is moving, it's just these planes and the camera, same speed. You have no idea. So, first we will just make sure the velocity object is actually assigned to. So, we'll go to game object, get component, constant velocity. And this is why it's attached to the camera, because the camera has this on it. And in the update, let's go for, you can use a for each if you want, doesn't matter. I use for, and I equal zero, I is less, I is less than parallax objects dot length. I plus plus, and then we'll go parallax objects I uh, translate and then we will translate them. the camera's velocity so that they actually move at the correct speed. We go to the main camera and we attach this object to it. And then we increase the size to 2 and drag the planes in. They should now be moving. And you might notice that it's very dark. Oh, I'll maximize it for you so you can actually see. Um, the whole level right now is very dark. And this is because there's no lights in. So, quick little fix for that. We'll add a directional light. Uh, these are the cheapest lights to make. Oh, that's not the 90 we want. This is the 90 we want. So now when we play, we'll have a nice little bright little color there. And yeah, so this is the second video. I'm sorry if I was really boring this time. I have a cold, which is pretty awesome. And uh, I'll try to be a little more entertaining next time. Because, yeah, um, we'll probably go over adding a couple enemies and maybe weapons <laughs> depends on how long the video takes uh, I think this one was actually pretty long I'll probably have to split it up into two parts maybe hopefully not three um, so yeah uh, the character follows the mouse we have parallax backgrounds all nice and fancy uh, so I'll see you guys at my next video, hopefully. Um, yeah, that's this is Pretty Joe, and I am signing off.